All right, so let's look at a reaction mechanism in this video. Let's look at the reaction mechanism behind the conversion of this methoxy ketone on the left, the oxidation of this methoxy ketone using an organolithium reagent followed by water into this tertiary alcohol we have over here on the right. So what's that going to involve? Well, first off, we're going to need to protonate this oxygen, get an OH group over here. And secondly, we're going to need to take this pi bond and turn it into just a sigma bond. Get that there. And last but not least, we're going to need to ensure that we can add, and of course this is not in order of how the reaction mechanism will actually proceed, but uh, we need to also add, in this case, we need to add an R group, and in this case that's going to be a methyl group, CH3, onto this central carbon, onto that carbonyl carbon there. So how do we go about doing this? Well, we are using an organolithium reagent, as I said, but we are using two equivalents, very important, two equivalents of CH3Li. It's very important. So, what is, what's going to happen here? What are we going to do? Well, all right, let's look at a couple things first. In our ketone over here, ketone, of course, has to have a carbonyl. And in a carbonyl, of course, something very important takes place. This oxygen is going to be super electronegative. And so, being as such, it will have a partial negative charge, and this carbon that it's bonded to is going to, by default, have a partial positive charge. So, let's look at the organolithium reagent. We have uh, a methyl group here, and we have lithium. Well, this methyl side is going to be slightly negative, and this lithium side is going to be slightly positive. So, what's going to happen? Well, we've got this slightly positive bit here, this slightly negative bit here. So, we're going to take this bond, and this will attack in a nucleophilic manner, the central carbon. So the methyl group attacks there, and that means it's going to attach. But of course, this means we'd have five bonds to carbon, which is not okay. So we need to take some of these pi electrons from the oxygen and move them onto the oxygen, move those uh, electrons to a lone pair on the oxygen so they're no longer shared in that pi bond between carbon and oxygen. And so this will proceed to give us the following. So we're going to have this oxygen now just a sigma. Ah, let's make the black ink. This oxygen now will have just a sigma bond to the central carbon. This methyl group, I'm just going to use ME here. This methyl group will still be unchanged. And then this methoxy group will still be unchanged, OCH3. But of course we added this CH3, we added this guy onto the central carbon, so now he will be bonded here. Okay, now... What's going to happen to this oxygen? Well, let's draw in how the electrons were up here. We had two lone pairs of electrons, okay? And so what that's going to mean is that now we've moved up these electrons from the pi bond, so we're going to have three lone pairs of electrons. If I, if I can draw, we're going to have three lone pairs of electrons. All right, we're getting there. <laughs> All right, so we have three lone pairs of electrons now, and what's that mean? One sigma bond, three lone pairs of electrons. Oxygen only has one bond. Well, that makes oxygen negative. Let's get red ink here. All right, negative charge on the oxygen. Now, carbon, of course, is neutral. We have no significant partial charges or anything like that. <clears throat> so what's going to happen? Well, at this point, we do have a decent leaving group. This OCH3 here, this methoxy group, is a really good leaving group. So, how do we get it to leave? Well, let's take some of the electrons that we just put up here on this oxygen. Let's put them, make a, a pi bond to this oxygen. Again, let's put them back on this sigma bond to the carbon. But, of course, carbon would have five bonds. That's not okay. So, let's kick off these electrons onto this methoxy group. So, that methoxy group, like we said, is now our leaving group. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go away. And the product that this will give us... It's going to be methyl group here, central carbon, and well, I don't know if we have enough room. All right, how about this? Okay, methyl group, central carbon, methyl group, pi bond, oxygen, okay, and two lone pairs of electrons. So now we're back to our partial charges on this. We have partial positive, partial negative. All right, so what is this right here? 
we have a carbonyl, we have a ketone, a ketone with just two methyls, dimethyl ketone or acetone. So what are we going to do now? Well, remember I said we were using two equivalents of this uh, uh, organolithium reagent. So we can put it, we're going to put in our next equivalent now. So let's go over here and, oh, of course, yeah, yeah, don't let me forget. This, of course, is going to be, let me get my ink back here, plus OCH3 minus. That will be uh, a group that's also, you know, it's not attached, but that's also what we get because we got rid of that OCH3. That was our good, the, the methoxy group was our leaving group. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to have our next bit here. Let's add on. Uh, what color ring should we use? Okay, so green here. Now our next equivalent, this methyl lithium here, so CH3, LI, and we already talked about what happens here. We know we have a negative, partial negative charge on the methyl group, partial positive charge on this lithium here, and so now since we have these partial dipoles uh, again on this uh, acetone, we know that this guy, so this it's going to attack our central carbon. And when it does that, once again, just like we had happen earlier, we're going to kick those pi electrons off onto the top oxygen. Okay. When we do that, we will get, let's go to the next page. We're going to get our oxygen with a partial, with a, not a partial, with a complete negative charge because we have three lone pairs and one bond, central carbon, Methyl group, methyl group, added CH3. Of course, these are equivalent. And now, let's see if that's right. Yep, 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 because we added the CH3 from lithium. Okay, so now here's what we have. Now, what are we going to do? Well, since we have three methyl groups attached to this central carbon, we no longer have any kind of a good leaving group. So none of these are going to go anywhere. They're all going to stay. So now let's go to our second step in the reaction, our second reagent, which was water. Let's add water to this mix. Green, okay. Well, where's water going to attack? Well, we have this uh, strong electrophilic hydrogen here. We have this strong nucleophilic oxygen here. So some of the electrons... The lone pair on this oxygen is going to go attack this hydrogen right here. Okay. I cannot draw today. All right. There we go. No. Ugh. All right. Good enough. And the electrons here shared are going to go on to this oxygen, which is going to give us what? What will this give us? Well, it's going to give us a another color ink here. All right. This will proceed to uh, blue. Good. So we have methyl group, carbon, methyl group, methyl group, and OH. Now, I'm pretty sure that this guy is exactly what we wanted to get in the beginning. Let's go back and look. And yes, it is. Methyl, methyl, methyl onto that central carbon, OH. So we have our tertiary alcohol, which we have converted from this methoxy ketone over here. And we're done. The reaction has, uh, has completely terminated and we're finished. And of course, let's not forget, what are we going to have added to this? Well, of course, we're going to have OH minus because that's what we got from this guy up here when we move these electrons back onto that oxygen. So, Done. Let's do a quick recap. We wanted to take this methoxy ketone over here. We wanted to turn it into this tertiary alcohol. And we wanted to do that with two equivalents, this methyl lithium, this uh, organolithium reagent. And then, of course, our second stage, we wanted to use water. The water is going to be a proton source to protonate this oxygen that's in here involved in the ketone, uh, in the carbonyl of the ketone, and we're going to use the methyl groups from this methyl lithium to add um, onto this carbon uh, two times because we're going to have a leaving group here. So what do we do? Our first step, we said we're going to take this uh, methyl group here, attack this carbon, 
move some electrons around, we're going to end up with a negative charge on this oxygen. That's going to cause this guy to be a good leaving group. We're going to move some electrons around again. Then we just get acetone. And once we got acetone, we had, again, those partial dipoles. We used our second equivalent of the CH3Li. We used the methyl group to attack this central carbon again because of its partial positive charge. And that gave us a, wait, we moved the electrons around again. We got a uh, three methyls on this carbon. We got a negative charge on the top oxygen. Then we used our second stage. We used water. And we used water as a proton source to protonate the carbon on the top. And that gave us our final product that we wanted, this tertiary alcohol. We have oxidized uh, the initial compound into this tertiary alcohol, and we are done.